Good morning, North Stars. Happy Friday. Awesome. You made it. Full week. This is great. This is good. Happy Friday. Um, the 13th. Oh, the 13th. Thanks for mentioning that, Ms. Guerin. There is... It's a, it's a good luck day. No significance in that date. Good luck on the 13th. I like it. Um, Native American fact of the day. Did you know Native Americans developed and often communicated with sign language? System of hand signals was developed to facilitate trade and communication between tribes and later with trappers and traders. I did not know that. I did not know that either. That was very cool. Learning sign language is full sign language. I like to know how to finger spell, but learning full on sign language is one of my bucket list items. Yeah. Today is World Kindness Day, so it's a perfect day for Friday the 13th is World Kindness Day, so they go together perfectly. Celebrated November 13th of each year is a global day that promotes the importance of being kind to each other, to yourself, and to the world. So, kind to others, kind to yourself. Sometimes being kind to yourself is hard, too. The purpose is to help everyone understand that compassion for others is what binds us together, this understanding has the power to bridge the gap between nations. Bridge the gap. Oh. Well, World Kindness Day does serve as a reminder that just like simple acts of kindness have power, um, that together we can all work together to create a kind of world. So you might wonder how compassion from one person to another makes a difference. Uh, it isn't easy to necessarily always comprehend that, but every kind act that we do um, even the smallest ones creates this like ripple effect that um, just begins to, you know, build upon each other. Uh, the World Kindness Movement and the World Kindness Day are meant to inspire you to believe that you can make a difference globally, one small kindness act at a time. It's nice. Sign language, that whole thing for you. <laughs> so let, let's talk a little more uh, kindness. Uh, something here at North. Uh, that we're moving forward with here um, is uh, for our North Star families, it's the Giving Tree, uh, which is now here at North Middle School. I know they've, they've done this at different schools before. So um, we're going to tell you guys a little bit about the Giving Tree today. Ms. Garen, tell us a little bit more about it. Hoping to become an annual tradition, annual meeting and meeting yearly. So yearly tradition, the Giving Tree is an opportunity for our families to help other families um, during the holiday season. So the tree will be filled with wish lists from families right here in Menominee Falls. And then you can um, see if you can help those families. Families helping families. Yeah. So each of these wish or each of these wish lists are going to have something that someone wants, something that they need, and something that they read. Need read. I like that. That rhymes. Uh, there's also a tag for a holiday food basket for each family and a grocery gift card to help supplement uh, a holiday meal. Well, if we weren't in a pandemic, we would invite you to our school to select a wish list from the Giving Tree. However, we are. So that's not going to stop us. We're going to do the Giving Tree virtually. Yeah. Stand aside, global pandemic. Here we mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in my weekly newsletter, um, and this is for parents, uh, mostly there's going to be an informational flyer and a link to the Giving Tree sign up genius. When you, uh, parents and students, sign up, uh, for a gift off of someone's wish list, Ms. Guerin and myself will remove the present uh, off of the giving tree and we will try to record this every week so everyone can see the giving tree in action. The giving tree will be now on display from now until December 11th in the cafeteria. The wish list tag, the giving tree has holiday symbols from many different cultures. Was that around the world? We love to learn about the traditions our students participate in every year. So all gifts uh, are due back here uh, at North Tuesday, December 15th. So please don't forget to put a gift tag on your present with the wish list number and the gift number. And all this information is going to be in that flyer. Each has a number in front of it on the sign of genius. So if you pick the second gift listed on the wish list number three, you would write three dash two on your gift tag. Got it? So Gifts will be delivered between December 21st and December 23rd. And we thank you for your support. This 
kind of generosity we love to see during this time of year in so many different ways. And so we thank you for all of your kindness that you show to other families in Menominee Falls that, that need a little kindness this time of year. So if you do need any more information on this, please reach out to Ms. Montague in our student services department. Her email will be listed at the bottom of that flyer. And thank you everyone for your help. This will be great. I love it. Awesome. Kindness. Yay. Let's do it. And let me get out of my way. Yes. Yes. Okay. So guess what? Guess who won the Shining Star Staff of the Week? Me? No. No, I don't even believe it was close. No. Maybe next week. Anyway, it was Miss Shrank. Woo! Yay. Hi, Miss Shrank. Yeah, Miss Shrank. Miss Shrank was this week's winner, North, North Shiny Star Staff of the of um of the week, North North Shiny Star Award. So she was nominated by Peyton Stem. And thank you, Miss Shrank, for going above and beyond for our North Stars. We appreciate everything you do. Enjoy your free Panera lunch today. You deserve it. Aiden, you get uh, half a cookie. That other half will go to me, I think. So I'll meet you later to, is it, that's the way it goes, right? No, that's never been the process. Mm. Aiden, that's we'll awkward. This is awkward. Um, just take a knife, cut it in half. No. A math lesson. <laughs> no, Miss Strank, full cookie. We'll talk. Yeah, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Um, student leaders, 8A students, your next meeting will be on Tuesday, November 17th after school until 3.30 in room 127. FBLA, you're, um, you have until the end of the day today to fill out your competitive event selection form. So make sure you get that filled out. See Mr. Nitz or Ms. Fraff for more information as always. Beginning November 16th, meals will only be distributed on Mondays for the week. Please see the announcements for more information regarding this change. Appropriately, our ACT word of the day this today is compassionate. Compassionate, again, fits in with the Friday the 13th theme. Kindness, giving, compassion, those are all kind of themes that generally typically go with Friday the 13th, right? Beginning to believe it. I like you know, you say it, it just is lodging here. So it means feeling or showing sympathy or concern for others. So that is perfect for kindness, giving tree, Friday the 13th. That's all wrapped all into all good things that you can do for yourself and others to make this world a better place to be. I'm gonna modify our sentence then. Um on Friday the 13th, compassionate people reach out to help those in need. Perfect. That's perfect. Awesome. <laughs> she comes way up, Mr. Gebauer. All right, friends, please prepare for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Be Friday the 13th. Do something compassionate. Let us know what it is. Have a, Have a good weekend, North Stars. Bye.